morning, good morning, good morning. We're gonna start off today's video doing something that we haven't done in probably, I don't know, like a year and a half. We're going to a Cars and Coffee in the new S65. But first, before we do that, we took a drive to Hebron, Ohio yesterday, right outside Columbus for Street Outlaws Drag Racing. Just check it out, buddy and I. I have a different finish on my wheels now. I had forgotten what it's like to own like a proper AMG and their brake dust issues. So yeah, we gotta go get her washed off real quick. I mean, this is somewhat what the finish should be. This is what it looks like in most spots. So we're gonna do a cold start, although since it's summer and in the garage and, and an AMG always runs hot and has these fans going on, it's, it, it's been sitting overnight. It still doesn't really feel, it's like warm in here. So it's not a proper cold start, but it's a cold start. Let her rip. <laughs> Splashes almost deter from all these ugly drilling holes and stuff. But yeah, we got some work to do. Now I don't have time to do a proper wash here in my driveway with the power pressure washer, all that stuff. So, so yesterday I thought I was gonna film more, but I didn't because it was so freaking hot. It was like 94 and humid. Um, so we mainly just sat in our suite and watched some drag racing. We need fuel once again. You got five percent. So it's a little better. Uh, we have this touchless car wash close to my house where I go many times if like I'm in a hurry, I don't have time to do a deep proper clean myself. So she looks a little better for the first car Carson coffee of the season here for me at least. So yeah, let's get on the road. Uh oh, already we've got a nice little hurricane. Look at that. That thing's looking good. I like it. Look at that, we got a nice guy Yardo. Love that color next to the Huracan, man, looking good. That's fun going to Carson Coffee again. Even in Pittsburgh, you, you get to see exotics on the highway, which you pretty much never do unless there's like some kind of car show going on. All right, so we're here. Finished a Celsius on the way here. Still not sponsored, by the way. Celsius is like, well, we don't need to sponsor you. You keep like giving us free promo on your Instagram and on your channel all the time. So, you, Mike. A Dr. M3 and his M4 CSL, look at that. Then we got my man here with his 992 GT3. This thing is so sick. Look at this thing. So it's got the carbon buckets here and it's a manual. This thing is so nasty. I love this car. Oh my God. It's so nice. This is my favorite generation of SL. That thing is nasty. Wide body, dude, Rentec. Man, that's a baller Benz right there. Might be an older gen, but that is nice. SL55, baby. That thing is sick. So here we have the M760i that I filmed uh, and did a review of, and then it sold. He put wheels on it. Pretty cool. And then the LW is here with an Alpina B7. Check it out. We have the trays. We got that rear entertainment package. Look at that tray. This is where you sit nice in the back here. All right, so check this out. This is the first C06 that I see in person. And it belongs to 650E. You still do motorcycle stuff or what? All the time, man. But you got a dope car. I'm trying to get you on a bike. No, I'm telling you, I'm afraid. I can't do that. It's got the appearance package in the engine bay as well. Check this out. Carbon wheels. I mean, this thing is so gnarly. Hold on, we gotta get in here. Look at this interior, man. I mean, this is, I can't believe this is a freaking Chevy. Yeah, this is very nice. 
It's got a Fab Speed exhaust on it as well. I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed. Yellow seat belts. Super nice. You can kind of see how great this car is when you have, you know, McLaren, we've got GT3 RS, we've got another McLaren here. Then we've got a Corvette. Everyone's standing around the Corvette. C06. This thing sounds like a 458. It's amazing. Check this out. What is this thing? It is absolutely sick. ADV1 wheels. Wow, that is so awesome. But then he bought a demon. Man, this thing is nasty. Look at that. That's dope. C06 with a fab speed exhaust. Oh, that thing sounds great. I love that car, man. Got my man Brody in the 720, and that's a loud car, but compared to the C06, it's quiet. I just think it's so funny that the only V12s are like German luxury cars. Everyone else has got like eight cylinders, except for that one, six. So these t shirts have been sold out forever, but we do have the stickers. I've um, forgotten to put one on this car, so we're going to do it right now. This is a sticker that every AMG owner needs. Yeah. And it's just a joke. It's funny. You can pick them up at autoblog.com. Yeah, somehow the audio was really bad in that previous clip. Sorry about that, but these stickers right here, you want one, you pick them up at autoblog.com. But the next thing we're going to talk about and I know this video is kind of all over the place. Uh, I apologize, we're gonna wrap it up here shortly. But in regards to the wheels, we have to mention this. So you guys saw the previous video, you got new wheels on the car from uh, Wheel Connection. Uh, sooner than I thought we were gonna get them, but that meant that we were gonna get rid of the wheels that I had on there previously. I had a lot of people reach out because uh, I said I was gonna sell them. 1400 bucks cash, come and pick them up which is what I always do. I say, come and pick them up, you know, pay cash, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna ship them anywhere or anything like that. It was the same time this time around, almost. There was a guy that was really interested in them. He was hitting me up, you know, constantly, and uh, I decided to sell them to him, and he's in Dallas, Texas, and he said, I'll set up just FedEx uh, shipping. They'll just come and pick them up from Chad, the shop where, you know, we got the wheels on and everything. I was like, okay, fine. If he deals with all that stuff, then fine, I guess I'll do it that one time. He gets Chad's number. I think he even talked to Chad, set up sh shipping, all that stuff. Then a couple days pass, and I don't hear from this guy. And I sent him an email, and I'm like, uh, what about payment and so on, you know, because I hadn't gotten paid yet. And nothing, just goes to me. So I then uh, I get suspicious, and I call Chad, and I tell him, like, if a FedEx truck sh shows up to pick up those wheels, uh, don't let him, because I haven't gotten paid. So nothing can be picked up and he was like oh yeah of course that's fine and then about, i think it was like the next day it was at the end of the day chad gets a call from a, a fedex driver that he knows because they, you, they have fedex drivers coming and dropping off and picking stuff up there all the time and he tells chad like uh so do you, do you have a pickup today chad's like well, no 
and he wasn't Chad wasn't at the time thinking about my wheels all the time he has tons of other things to think about but then uh, you know they clarified and it was actually my wheels that it was about and he's like yeah I'm supposed to pick them up here now um, like four o'clock or whatever it was and uh, we were this close to being scammed on those wheels so uh, thank God uh, we weren't the wheels are still available um, and there were so many people that hit me up um, that they're just lost in all the DMS um, but basically I want to say that if, if you're interested in those wheels that I had on this s65 prior to putting these wheels on they are still available 1400 bucks cash personal pickup send me a DM on Instagram if you're interested in those wheels I know there were tons of other people uh, previously so yeah rambling on here but if you're still interested in the wheels they are available 1400 bucks cash come and pick them up almost brand new tires on them as well all right so with a little wheel issue out of the way we're gonna focus on our little interaction we had with the police today the local police and it wasn't in this car it was in the RS7. Basically, I just felt like I had to take her out. I mean, she's been sitting for over a week, get some fluids flowing and so on. And, uh, you know, I mean, she's quick. She's real quick. 700-ish quick. It's interesting because I've been driving this along like every day nonstop for the past week since I got it. Oh, nice little, what is it, a C2? Correct, nice, nice. Um, and the one time that I take this out, <laughs> this happens. Well, I took the RS7 out just to get it uh, running a little bit. <laughs> I think we might, might be getting pulled over. We'll see if he lights us up here. Um, it's a local place, we'll see. I don't think so, so far, so good. He hasn't done anything yet. I wasn't doing anything crazy, but I might've been speeding a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. How's it going, officer? What's up, man? Control. Police, you wear scrub grass road as a 35 mile per hour zone? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so why are we going almost 55 then? Any reason for that? No, I'm just basically I'm just out uh, driving this car around because it's been sitting for a while. That's the only reason I live on. Yeah, I see that sick. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. But still, that means you should know that's 35, right? This thing yeah, I mean, I wasn't like blowing through. I was just cruising, but I guess I was going too fast. So There's I mean. people on scrub grass road specifically that wants to sit there and target people going above 35. So that's okay. why I'm putting right. you over top of you. All right. But as long as like your driver's license registration, everything's good. Yeah. I'll just give you a warning today, all right? So you're going to have to come to my house and look at my driver's license because I forgot my wallet. It's all right. What's your date of birth? Uh, yeah. Right, uh, yes, it, it actually took him a lot longer than I thought it would. Hold on. They hand you this back. All right. This is expired, so you're going to want to get the new one. Right? Right, it just yeah, expired yeah. like two months ago, something like that. Okay. So let's get that up to date. I get it. This car is fast. It's probably fun to drive and everything like that. I hear the engine roaring right now. But right. Like I said, there's people on street. No, I hear you. Getting a little pissy because people are going 50 plus right. on the road. So I'm just out making sure people are aware of that. Like I said, you live right up the street, so you know. Right, right. But I get it. You had the car in the thing for the winter and stuff. So right. slow it down. I will. Hop on 79. Go do what you want to do on there. <laughs> but around here, okay. you know, people like to walk. Right. People like to talk. So. No, yeah, I hear you. I appreciate it, man. Hey, no problem. Thank you, dude. Bye-bye. All, right? All right. Well, he was cool as hell. He was. Um, gave me a warning. Could have probably busted me for obviously speeding. You guys heard it yourself. Um, <laughs> he basically told me like go, go out on the highway and do what you need to do which I never do of course it's funny that I get pulled over in the RS7 it's the second time I'm getting pulled over in this car I got pulled over in West Virginia in the middle of the night pretty much when I was driving home from Fort Lauderdale and I haven't had the S65 long enough to even have any kind of interaction with police I guess because I've been driving that car around all the time and it truly is the reason why I'm driving the RS7. I just want, you know, 
get a heat cycle through, get some fluids running and so on. And, uh, you know, I love this car. It's just that it's been sitting now outside for over a week, uh, not getting any love. So that's the main reason I uh, took her out. And I wasn't like blasting through or doing anything crazy. Oh yeah, we have the uh, dash cam here. So yeah, I just thought of that. So now we can see some footage. But yeah, since it was a local police officer and the police station that pulled us over are actually on the same street as we are. So um, I've never seen that specific police officer before, but most of the cops, I, I think they recognize like my cars and stuff. They know that I'm a local guy. I'm not some, you know, random dude just flying by the area or whatever. So I, I think that helped me out. So but he was a cool cop, gave me a warning. Of course, you shouldn't be speeding around um, where you live. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I think most of you guys figure that might have been in this car, but no. The good old RS7. She is the fastest car that I have. Um, I mean, obviously the S65 is quick, but the uh, RS7 is definitely more performance oriented than the s65 so but tune is coming for this car got a full exhaust coming from fi and one more thing that i'll mention here real quick before we end the video i thought that i was going to be able to lower this car with uh just a module it's a, basically like coating something that you stick in the obd2 um, because it has you know the air ride type suspension but i'm not going to be able to do that because it has that magic body control uh, type suspension that uh, I learned was the reason why I could just float over speed bumps because it has cameras and, and it kind of like it scans the road in front of you blah, 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 all that stuff so because I have that feature I can't uh, use one of those modules to just uh, code it to go up and down as I please we're gonna have to get lowering links so that will be coming too we, I mean we got so much stuff coming from the, for this car and we haven't even talked about a wrap yet um, I'm extremely excited. This car is going to be very unique because, I mean, how many S65 owners videos do you guys see on the internet? Especially at Coupe. I know Tavares, you know, had one of his, um, I don't know if he still has it, but he made cool videos with his S65. But uh, yeah, I, I haven't really seen anyone else do S65 videos. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, it was kind of like all over the place. I know, um, that's how it is sometimes. When it's like in between planned content, go to Cars and Coffee, and go to dinner with the wifey, drive around, hop in another car, get pulled up, you know how it is. But uh, I'm happy to be filming. Um, you guys seem to love the videos and that makes me happy. Um, and this is the way I wanna feel when I create content that is just flowing, it's natural. Um, and uh, I think that I'm making good content, so. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. You guys are my audience, and I take that extremely seriously. So, yeah. Until next time. Bye-bye.